Greetings. My name is Brian and I'm a nursing student with San Francisco State University. And today we will be performing an assessment for opioid withdrawal using the Clinical Opioid Withdrawal Scale. <clears throat> the Clinical Opioid Withdrawal Scale, or CALS, is an 11 item scale designed to be administered by a clinician. This tool can be used in both inpatient and outpatient settings to reproducibly rate common signs and symptoms of opioid withdrawal and monitor these symptoms over time. The sum score for the complete scale can be used to help clinicians determine stage or severity of opioid withdrawal and assess the level of physical dependence on opioids. Practitioners sometimes express concerns about the objectivity of the items on the cow. However, the symptoms of opioid withdrawal have been likened to severe influenza infection. Things like nausea, vomiting, sweating, joint aches, agitation, tremor. And patients should not exceed the lowest score in most categories without exhibiting some observable signs or symptoms of withdrawal. Please stay tuned. We're going to put together a small example of how the assessment tool is used. We are here with patient CC, who is here to be assessed for severity of opioid withdrawal. We have an 11 item uh, assessment here, and we've already uh, completed the pulse rate assessment, which was 110. Uh, can you tell me about your sweating? I get a little bit of sweats. Have you had any sweating within the last half an hour? A little bit, yes. Restlessness. Um, try to describe for me how difficult it is for you to sit still. It's difficult to sit. I can't stay still. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing some, some pretty heavy gross motor tremors right now. Would you say that you are capable of sitting still if you needed to, or you are incapable of doing so? I wouldn't be able to. It's hard. Thank you. Pupil size. Let me get a look at your pupils. Um, just look me, look directly at me, and I'm just going to try to get an idea of how dilated they are. Okay. So they're moderately dilated on both sides. Do you have any bone or joint aches? Yes. And it, it, I'm not even, I can have it when I'm not even moving or active. It okay. Is. Um. Not severe enough to interfere with this assessment, but it is difficult to tolerate. Correct. Runny nose or tearing. Are you uh, experiencing, experiencing any nasal stuffiness or uh, like overly moist eyes? The, I do get some tearing and the runny nose. Okay. Um, but, but not so much uh, heavy, heavy tearing. Just kind of a, a mild light. Correct. Okay. Having any nausea or loose stool? I have been vomiting and had diarrhea. Okay. Um, how often is that going on? Within the what would you say within the last half an hour? Is it pretty frequently? Like when it's you pretty, use it It's pretty frequently. Yes. Tremors. Um, can you hold out your hands for me like this? Tremors. Yawning. I noticed when you came in, I did see you yawn a couple times. Uh, how frequent is that or how often is that occurring? That's that's pretty often. Pretty normal? Yes. Okay. Are you having any anxiety or irritability? Both, but higher on the anxiety. Does anything help with that? You know, so? Not currently. Okay. Uh, goosebumps. Yes. Are you familiar with the, with the term? You get kind of raised. Yes. On your skin. Um, okay. Let's see a little bit now. Okay. So we're going to tally your score, and once we get a clear picture of the severity of your symptoms. Then we'll reconvene and we'll talk about how we can respond to it, okay? Okay. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you.